Okay, this is uh, gonna be a little video about how to set up the uh, portable lightboard studio. And I wanna kind of walk through what comes in this kit. Starting with uh, one of the most important pieces is a camera. So this camera here is a camcorder. Important thing about it, zoom in and out function. So you can basically adjust how, what your range of view is uh, and in this camera, you're gonna hook it up into one of the main components, which is our mixer. So this, along with the mixer, are the two most important components that we have. And this is the mixer. It's called the ATEM Mini Pro. And what it is, is a board that mixes different signals that come in. So there's up to four ports here that can bring in cameras. For us, we're only gonna bring two of them in. One is gonna be the feed from this camera and that's gonna come in through the back here. I'll make a separate video about how to set this up, but here are the four ports for the cameras coming in. Camera one will be this, and it provided with this is in fact uh, a direct cord here to access this, which is from the camera here. There's an HDMI mini port that comes out of here to an HDMI port here, which is called camera one, or it has a one right there on the label. So one of the hookups is gonna be just to take this HDMI mini, put it into the camera, right here at the top, there's an HDMI mini out. And the other end of this comes in to port one here. So camera with its cord, and by the way, the camera can be run by itself if you have the battery charged, or you can just run it while it's plugged in and having running on power. So that's one of your components. Everything's gonna come in here. So this is gonna come into here. Port two, you can hook in either a laptop or preferably an iPad where you're running slides on your iPad. So you can either run Keynote or PowerPoint to run slides. They would come into two. And what this board is gonna do is mix those two data streams together, directly mix them. And so that's gonna allow us to produce essentially the light board. So you're gonna use your iPad and whatever's projected there, projected on the camera as well. And I will show that uh, full setup in, in just a little bit. Now what's gonna happen here is you're gonna record all the data onto a disk, scan disk here, a little terabyte drive. And that comes here onto the USB out port. So you just would hook up this here. So when you record, everything's gonna come onto this disk here, which you can then pop off and then go look at what it looks like on your computer. Now for you to see what's going on, we also have a little monitor. This is gonna go right underneath the camera over here. And so this is gonna show you the output of this device. In fact, there's an HDMI to HDMI cable that runs out of this device into the back of this where it says HDMI out. So you're gonna connect this to this. And what you're gonna be able to see live is the mix between that camera and your iPad right on here. So you'll be able to see how you look relative to your, your slides. And I'll send out a little example slides of how you would design that so that essentially you're gonna be on one side, the slides are gonna be the other, they're gonna be mixed. And so you're gonna be able to see everything through running it through here, which again also has its power cord associated with it. Now there's one other cable that's gonna come in here and that cable is gonna, or two other cables are gonna come here. One of them's gonna be a cable that comes, it's an HDMI cable that runs to USB-C that goes to your iPad. And that can come right into here to the two spot. So there's an HDMI out, which is two here. And this would go into your iPad directly into this port here. And finally, there's one other cable here to highlight, which is, in the back of this, there is a ATEM control, which is an ethernet jack. So essentially what's gonna come out here is an ethernet cable. And the ethernet cable comes in here to a USB-C converter. So you run the ethernet cable directly out from here into this USB-C, which you then plug into your laptop. And so your laptop is actually gonna have the, the controllers for this device which allows you to set the sound and the cameras and the mixing. 
So this is critically important because this will run right into your computer. So that will go into your computer and this goes into this mixer. And then so now you can control this entire mixer directly off your laptop, which you would have off to the side. And so uh, when you start this process, this is kind of like all of your parts in one spot. So this is the entire package. Your power cords for the different devices, the HDMI. So this is it. This is what comes with the kit. We have it labeled inside with all the parts. Uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do in the videos that ensue is show you how to put all of this together hook it all together, and how to run it through your laptop so that you can basically essentially record, keep the video, all of which, by the way, will be on this, and we're gonna be able to put 4K video on here directly, um, and then from this here, we can edit these down in Final Cut Pro into a polished version, uh, and so that's the full setup. So some final thoughts. Um, if you don't have all the equipment, so you don't have an iPad or you don't have a fancy camera, what you can use instead of the iPad is you can actually just run the HDMI cable that goes out from the A10 Mini Pro, normally going to the iPad, you can just run it back into your laptop that you're using to film, uh, that you're using to record or manage the A10 software, and then you can project your PowerPoint or your uh, keynote directly from there. So no need for an iPad. And if you don't have a fancy camera, instead what I'm doing here, you could actually hook yourself in, instead of to the camera, you can hook into your something like your iPhone. So most of the phones today, they're uh, pretty high resolution and have great quality. And so you can just directly hook an HDMI out from your first port into your camera phone. What you'll need is one of these, if you're doing, for instance, an iPhone, a lightning to HDMI cable, buy the one from Apple. If you try to, if I buy, I've bought some from Amazon and the cheaper ones don't actually work for this. So you would just hook this in. Now your iPhone becomes your camera. And so you can use this. And what you can use on there is a software you can download called, it's a free app called Filmic, F-I-L-M-I-C. And you can use the free version of it. And basically all you want it to do is to use it as a camera to project into your A10 Mini Pro, so you don't need any of the advanced features. What you'll wanna do is make sure just to set the settings on Filmic Pro so that um, what the output is does not show all the all the things that are on the screen of your, of your camera. And that's easy enough to do. So that's it, so there's some options there and that makes the entire, let's say, studio uh, come down in price to about uh, 600 bucks, assuming that you have a laptop, assuming that you have a, a nice camera phone. And uh, with those, it allows you lots of flexibilities. And you can download all the package and everything. If you go to the playlist, right underneath it, there's a spot there where you can download uh, essentially the component listings and you can build everything from there.